Hello all, welcome to our uh, new part in the embedded system workshop sponsored by engineers lab. So in the previous sections we have gone till um, differences between analog and digital signal. So before going further into the technical details, um, let us look at all the things that we have discussed in the previous section. So if you put all the ingredients of the embedded system into a bucket so we can classify this into three sections components components are nothing but what all we use in embedded system and then what are the cross-functional activities that happen and then what are the challenges so we will discuss in detail about all of these in the uh, coming um, slides so maybe in the next parts so um, we, most probably we will start with the active passive devices microcontrollers and all and then we will further go into the complexities of those so uh, if you can see uh, this is what uh, uh, comprise a embedded system there can be few more which might be implied um, into these uh, um, factors mentioned here so uh, this is at a very high level now most of the uh, embedded engineers or the freshers or uh, um, the graduates that are coming out of colleges would be looking for the embedded tech companies that are available where they can apply for jobs so we just wanted to put at a very high level um, the companies that work on embedded technology so you could you can have a look at this mm, there are many so due to the space constraint we just wanted to include a uh, few of the things next going further so from the next section onwards we will dig deep into each and every uh, section of the embedded system mm, going further so the, when you start as a embedded engineer or when you start learning embedded systems the first part that you want to learn is about the heart of the embedded system heart of the embedded system is either the processor or the microcontroller that you use in it so when you want to classify that so it can be classified this way in a very simple manner the difference between the microcontroller and microprocessor can be said using these two block diagrams where both of them will have a core core is nothing but the CPU where the entire processing will happen uh, but the major difference comes in terms of memory where the microprocessor will have a external memory interface to it but microcontroller will have inbuilt memory um, interfaced on the chip itself and then the other uh, serial and parallel interfaces that are used for communication are common across the microcontroller and the processor so there will be individual controllers like for example we will go further into the interfaces of the controller or processor later just to give you an indication if you uh, um, take an example of a UART which is a serial communication interface in a microcontroller processor so there will be a UART controller inside the microcontroller which helps us to communicate with the external world this UART controller has pins that will be extended out and interface to the external devices so we will discuss about this in later so when we just wanted to put microprocessor and microcontroller difference as simple as possible uh, without um, exposing the internal architecture of the core so this is how it looks so in the further sections we will explore further and see the may uh, the internal differences how the core will be what will be the architecture of the microcontroller or the processor and what are the different uh, RAM, um, memories that are available what are the serial interfaces so stay glued and keep watching our um, channel for more videos thank you all